What's up, Airsoft Atlanta TV? Today, we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the G&G CM16 R8L. I'm assuming the L stands for long. I mean, look at this thing. So, one thing you'll notice is, first off, yeah, how long this thing is. And another thing is, we got a full integrated rail system and this red dot sight, which actually comes in the package. So, right out of the gate, you're getting a red dot optic, which is, a lot of people like that for quick target acquisition and stuff like that. And there's no iron sights that come with this weapon whatsoever. This is the sighting system you get. Also, you'll notice is that the magazine, contrary to other regular magazines, is has a rubberized grip on it, which is easier for you know gripping the magazine and putting it in the weapon. You can also, I mean, if this is the way you hold your gun, you can grip like that. Um, you have a lot of rail space up in the front, an extended outer barrel as well, and like all the combat machines that we sell. This does come in a combo package as well with a battery and a smart charger. Other features of this gun include a retractable stock where the battery is also held, has a sling point on the left side for one point slings. The magazine release, just like any other M4, M16 style gun, will be the button on the right side. The magazine just drops right out, puts in place easy and the selector switch will be on the left side and it'll be the same like semi and full auto positions. The bolt catch release has no function on this. Forward assist has no function either and the charging handle does not as well. This is a combat machine. For access to the hop-up since the charging handle is non-functioning you'll have to open up the dust cover by hand and adjust the hop-up. Also, with it being a combat machine, you'll notice that the body is polymer, all of it, which makes it really light, but extremely durable. The magazine that comes with it is a 300 round high capacity magazine, wheel on the bottom, door on the top. The FPS of this gun is going to be in the neighborhood of 340 to 350 right out of the box which is respectable and good for CQB purposes. And with it being a GNG, it's really easy to go in and do those aftermarket upgrades. This gun also does come in black. So if the tan doesn't float your boat, we've got options. For more information on this gun and others GNG products, please visit www.airsoftatlanta.com.